In the early 60s, no living room was complete without the work of one artist. If you've got the feeling of deja vu right now, it's probably because the work of Vladimir Tretchikov was hanging in your grandparents' front room. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. Tretchikov was a self-taught artist. Born in Siberia, he had lived through the Russian Revolution. Orphaned at 11, he was supporting himself as a professional artist by the age of 13 and by the mid-50s was experiencing huge success. Wealthy people had been happy to pay hefty sums for Tretchikov's original works, but the decision to mass-produce his images in 1952 dented his credibility with big-money buyers. He allowed his work to be sold in shops like Boots, so you could pick up a print with your prescription. He also sold from catalogues like Freeman's. In 1960, he exhibited in Harrods, pulling in more than 200,000 visitors. Print sales broke all records. He sold more than Picasso. But why this work, and why then? Why was Tretchikov's work so popular in the 50s and 60s? Well, he said himself that it was colourful and exotic, and I think those two words summed up the popularity of his pictures in a world that had just come out of the austerity period, the wartime, rationing. It was a breath of fresh air. And against these white, plain walls that 50s interiors brought, um, you know, they looked fabulous. So people had had enough of make, do and mend? Absolutely. They wanted something that was, was different from what their parents had had, so a move away from the kind of the, the, the standard, uh, you know, typical floral vases. They wanted something that was understandable, so they didn't want any of the kind of the modern, modern art, the sort of Picassos or the Dalis. And it was a refreshing thought that they could go out and buy a, a reproduction picture themselves with their own money. But these images weren't the obvious choice for British homes. Well, strangely, they were, really, because it was the beginnings of the Jet Set Age, and they were kind of scenes that evoked the Far East, overseas travel. It was a way of getting all of that into your home without actually having to buy the air ticket. It was a bit of sort of social currency, really. People knew as soon as you walked in that, you know, you were somebody worth knowing because you had a treacher off in your room. And it kind of went with the cocktails and the hostess image and, and the happy housewife, really. It completed the picture. The print sales made Tretchikov a very wealthy man. He travelled widely and signed the prints he sold. He said that the difference between him and Van Gogh was that Van Gogh had starved, whereas he had become rich. How much time do you actually spend signing all the Lifetime, probably. <laughs> Tretchikov was the first mass market artist. He made it possible for everyone to buy exotic artwork from the high street, and he still has a loyal following today. I've come to meet one of Tretchikov's biggest fans, designer Wayne Hemingway. Wayne, this is a pretty big statement to have in your own house. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I think it's just one of those things. I, I grew up with this stuff um, in the living room in my nan's house in Morecambe, and there was a, a little small one about that big above the mantelpiece, which she bought from Hitchens. I think she bought it from Hitchens on the seafront. And, uh, and it's just... I've just become obsessed with them, in a way. And do you collect these? Yeah, when we uh, started our business back in the early 80s on Camden Market, me and the missus used to go around lots of jumble sales, and there was always you know, Tretchikoffs or, or this genre of art. And they were like 50p a pound. And I started to buy them and stick them in a shed, and like you do. Yeah. And then he started to get more of them and more of them. So and I ended up with 1,700 of them, <laughs> uh, including, like, probably... I probably got between 60 and 70 identical ones of, of this, you know, in different frames and things. Is it just nostalgia for you, Nan, or do you really like them? It, it, it ticks a lot of boxes with me. Number one... I quite like the nostalgic feel of it, but I do actually like the colour of it, and I do find it qu quite beautiful. But it also kind of hits that mark about art accessibility. I think he did what Warhol wanted to do and what was stopped from doing, because Warhol had this trendy clique around him. But he always said he wanted to make art totally accessible, and that's why he, he did, you know, the beans can and all of that kind of stuff. But Tretchikoff did it. You know, he, he made art available at £1 to everybody. Mm -hmm. 